So welcome to our YouTube channel. We are the Tandis and on this YouTube channel we share with you our relocation journey back to Zimbabwe. So you have a unique opportunity really to have an insight of what preparations people make before they take the plunge of actually relocating. So we have lived in the UK for over 20 years. We've lived here for a very long time and we're planning to relocate back to Zimbabwe. So three weeks ago or a few weeks ago now, we actually were in Zimbabwe and this is the homestead that we are building. So this is the cottage farmhouse. So on this page, we're looking to build a community of like-minded people, people who we can inspire, who don't know where to start, who want to return back to their country of origin, but don't know what to, how shall I go about it. All right. So thank you so much for coming back and watching our videos if you're a returning subscriber. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscription button. You will love it here. We have a great community of people. So quick recap. When we went to Zimbabwe, we did a lot of uh, work on the different areas of our building project, our homestead project. We worked on the flooring. Uh, we had tiles. We also worked on the plumbing. One of the things that made it easier for us to um, and more efficient is we put together all the things that we needed. Yeah, We bought them ahead of time, put them together so that when we had all the contractors coming onto the ground, they were just hitting the ground running and doing what they are supposed to do because everything was there. So our plumber went on and did his plumbing work. The tilers did their work. There was work happening outside of the house. There was work happening in the house. And then when everything was completed, then the cleaning work started because, my goodness, the amount of dirt that was everywhere, you can just see by the windows. So after all this happened, we moved in. However, on the day we moved in, we decided to have a barbecue. It was sort of planned but unplanned at the same time. Okay. So we made our way to my Tete's house. This is my Tete. The relationship that we have is via my father-in-law. So she is my father-in-law's sister. So she's my Tete that way. Uh, so we went to invite Nehumba. Yeah, so this is us going to Nehumba's house. Nehumba once said to Zuruvi, She said to Mr. Tandi that, I can hear rumors people are saying, will they ever finish building the house? So let me tell you about our house. Eh? It took a while to get to this point. We started building in 2009. And as usual, people will say all sorts of things. But the day had come that we went and said to Nehumba, guess what? Today you are going to sleep in our house. She also said, you know what, to my husband, I'm getting old. When are you going to finish? That's also something that she said to my husband. So we were there to actually say to her, Nehumba, please come. And we, you know, we're going to celebrate this milestone. We're going to show you everything that we've done in the house. And we want you to actually stay the night in the house. Hey, ah, Nehumba was so happy. And she also loved seeing the drone, by the way. That this technology, this drone technology, it fascinated her. She was so fascinated. She was like, you need to take a, a video of my homestead. <laughs> One thing that we always did when we were Kumusha, we always took bread to Nehumba's house. Eh? Because this woman loves tea and she is so comical. So this video is going to be very much Nehumba doing her antics. And she said, there's no way you're returning to the UK without having tea in my house. So we broke bread in her house and we took some, she gave us some maize to come to the UK with. So anyway, back to the homestead, loads of work was happening. We had to go and get some sofas for my father-in-law because we had nowhere for them to sit. We had to get the doors fixed. You know, the drama with the doors, eh? episode 14. And then this is the reaction when we were showing our guests around. Guys. <laughs> Yeah. 
So you can see the reaction. People were so happy, like genuinely happy. It was nice to see my... So those other ladies that you saw there, they are also my tetes, but they are my husband's sisters. They are also called tete. It's confusing, I know. So we went to Skies, which is Kwampandira. We went there, Mupandira, to um, buy some drinks and juices. We sent the men to buy drinks, guys, and they came back with chibuku and and alcohol. <laughs> they didn't buy any sodas or anything, so we went to buy those. And then the tetes were like, you need to show us that you guys are feeding our brothers right. So we were showing them that we can make sadza. Ah, we danced, we ate, we celebrated, we joked we ah we did all sorts of things guys this was such a lovely day <laughs> Hey, my Zuruvi has two left feet. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching our video. Um, please leave a comment. You guys have been so encouraging. Some of you have come with ideas and suggestions. And, you know, I can see that there are a lot of people who really want to make that journey back. But we've got so many things that are maybe a challenge for us, including health issues and... Um, young children and not knowing you know how you can cater for their education and their health care needs and all that those things we are going to delve into them but for now i'm going to leave you with this video of mr and mrs tandy getting down booging down thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave a comment <laughs> I'm <laughs> <laughs>